what am I looking for as I perform this production in front of what am I looking for? Well, and I'm looking to have that connection where I feel like I, I'm, I'm feeling it inside. I'm communicating it to the audience. The audience is receiving it. And, and you know, there's that back and forth. I can feel that. that that's what I'm looking for. And, and um, you, know, I, you know, I'm an entertainer. I, 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 you know, I do want to, you know, give them pleasure. And, and I also want to, maybe we can look at some things that we take for granted from other points of view. I, I, I'd love to kind of to break it all up and just let's look at this prism. Like we didn't think of looking at, look, looking at this way, you know, like I said, I'm playing, you know, this extreme right wing character and then there's kind of like, Hey, eh, this little COVID thing. And, and I, I'm hoping that, you know, they're, they're just not cliched black and white characters, but that we can see some, Oh, you know, it's, it's so easy, especially with this right wing character to, you know, to paint them as, oh, the evil dark ones. But you know what? I, I, we all have some of these thoughts in our head. You know, it's not just one way or the other. So I like blurring the colors and the, and the, and the lines and like what you thought was, you know, obscene. Maybe it isn't so obscene. Maybe there's something profoundly touching in it too. Hey, uh, my... John Fleck here, my show, It's Alive, It's Alive at the Odyssey Theater. If you'd like to hear more information, uh, hey, uh, stay tuned. Well, how did this uh, project, It's Alive, It's Alive, come to be? What was the seed? Uh, well, I, you know, I, I mentioned this in the piece itself, uh, if you were to come see it. I, you know, I blame this entire project on David Schweitzer. If you don't like it, blame David Schweitzer and Beth Hogan at the Odyssey. Yeah, David pitched it to Beth Hogan at the Odyssey, even before he pitched it to me that he and I create a, a special event to be held um, in the parking lot of the Odyssey Theater in August of 2020. This was, you know, just a few months, you know, into the lockdown and, you know, you couldn't perform inside. But the thought was that, you know, we, we want to create a special event to celebrate the resiliency of theater. You know, it's alive. It's alive. You can't kill theater. And at the time, I mean, the seeds Ooh, I mean, what it started off as back then and what it is now completely different. I mean, uh, back uh, when I was creating it, we didn't get to do it in August of 2020 because the, the pandemic kept putting us in, uh, you know, postponing lockdown, lockdown. Uh, but, um, you know, at the time, you know, what was feeding me was, you know, we had, you know, a, a, this political quagmire. It was heavy. You know, I, I felt like the anvil was over our heads. And then we had this, this pandemic, this, this virus. I, you, you know, everybody was like terrified. Oh, my God, washing their, their you know, their Trader Joe's bags before they bring them to the house. It, it, it came from a place of terror. And I was, you know, just trying to process this. And I don't know, these various characters started to emerge. This, this beautiful little COVID character that I play, a, a molecule. And, 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 and I created this character who, who, who meant no harm to the human race in a way that they were, they're trying to save the human race, but their, their vibrations are so intense it ends up killing humans. Anyways, and then I play on the other end, like this very uh, right wing, proud boy-ish type character and that and they're like butting each other's heads and then there's meta john in the middle you know trying to okay well what's what's happening here what's the truth for me for us right now with with you know all these voices are going on you know it, it, from the outside world and trying to process it that way into a a humor humor humorous satirical you know cabaret event so uh it's a little bit of all things cabaret performance art theater and uh, just, uh, you know, a cathartic experience, connection, reconnection with the audience and me. We have, uh, we have a, a band. We have an upright bass, uh, John Snow on upright bass. Then we have Scott Roberts on the tinkling the, the piano. And then uh, I have two uh, uh, singer, actor, dancers, um, Kyle and Tomoko uh, uh, working with us and... Uh, that's been great because usually, you know, I'm a solo performer and I, I think my solo days, I, I want to start working with other people. So this has been great. And, and, and I love getting back to my early kind of cabaret musical roots. Uh, 
And so we sing, a, there's a shitload of singing going on and dancing here. So uh, it's got some heavy themes and it's got a lot of, I, I like to kind of make people, uh, part of my thing is to, to make people like uncomfortable a little bit, but also to laugh a lot. So, you know, like it might be, oh my God, what's he doing? But, <laughs> you know, you know, and kind of make them maybe even like cry a little bit too. Like, I don't know, just, uh, I like to dig deep and get some emotions out of people, unpredictable emotions. Like, wait, we didn't see that coming. Why are we feeling that? What do I want the audience to get out of this alive? It's alive, alive. What do I want the audience to get out of it? Well, I, I want them to, for one thing, to reconnect again <laughs> in a the theater and, and get that experience of, you know, being alive together. And there's a reason, you know, for, for theater, there's a purpose for us to be here and not home watching Netflix or Zooming with someone. That this is a, a fundamental human need to, to be with each other and, 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 and process all, I mean, you know, Two years went by and we, we couldn't process any of this stuff on stage or together live. And uh, so I would like them to get out of that, that out of that. And, and also just to have a friggin' good time and just get some laughs, shits and giggles. We need some shits and giggles, you know. So uh, that's what I hope they get out of it. And um, hey, you know, the, the price is right. Uh, you know, geez, for the cost of a martini in a high-end restaurant, you can see live theater, you know. Why must audience viewers attend this live production at the Odyssey? Well, because they have their, we have their contact information. And if they don't, they will be very sorry. We have bank account numbers. We have social security numbers. We could make life hell for you as well, Buell. I get you now. Uh, no, why must they? Oh, there's no must. But, you know, come on. If, if you're going to go out to see everybody's talking about Jamie at the Amundsen, ugh, I mean, come on, but you know, for one tenth of the price, come here and have a real genuine kind of, I think, original experience. So that that's one thing I, I feel. And I think Dave, what David and I have created is truly a, you know, a, a unique little <laughs> monster in a way. It, it is alive and it's living and, and it's changed. We had our first rehearsal today and, and, you know, we did a workshop about five months ago and just like, whoa, I mean, the world just in five months is different. So, I mean, it is alive. It's a living thing. And um, I, I think that all people will connect with it and perhaps it will make them even feel more alive to have partaken of it. And, you know, it's only an hour long that we can go out and have a drink afterwards, too. So that's always fun. Here's my call of action. Please come to the Odyssey Theater to see John Fleck. It, it's alive. It's alive. Ah, directed and developed with David Schweitzer. Running for five weekends, opening Saturday, February 19th. It runs fat, Saturday at 8 o'clock, Sundays at 5 o'clock for, uh, for 10 shows. And uh, all I can say is, a dream is a wish your heart makes. And hey, uh, come see the show. And I think uh, you're, you're, you will have pleasant dreams, or perhaps a little disturbing. But hey, it will, uh, it will sink in and it will stay with you.